All right, so enough with that. End of the video here. <laughs> Working with the 2021, quote unquote, uh, Demarini Nihilist. Uh, Demarini is always a, a year ahead of themselves when it comes to releasing model years. Uh, for whatever reason, they decided to call these 2021s. Uh, it does cause a little bit of confusion, but I always call them 2020s because that is uh, the year, the market they're competing with. So I call it that uh, just for my own sake. But nonetheless, big thanks to Headbanger Sports for sending this to us so we could check it out for you guys. This one is a 27 ounce approved for ASA USA play only and has about 75 swings on it with nothing but 52 300s. And that's all we're hitting for the video here is evil BP 52 pluses and evil 52 300 game balls. This bat is a 27 ounce and features an inload. There's nothing listed as far as how much inload, but in their description on the website, it does say that there was people begging for the Nihilus Tech with a bigger inload, and I'm going to tell you right now, they definitely gave it to you. Right. This thing is no doubt a full ounce of inload, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, these things mean business. Uh, if you're not a big inload fan, this one's not going to be for you. I'm just going to be up front and tell you that right now. The 12-inch barrel on this bat uh, did have a decent-sized sweet spot to it. Overall, it had a softer feel to it. The thing that set this apart from last year's Nihilist, in my opinion, was the fact that you could feel last year's bat the ball just absolutely explode off of it and when you hit it on the screws. And even if you didn't, you still got a good a good feel of uh, the ball coming off of the bat, which is something that uh, people do complain about with the 52-300 ball is the fact that they don't give a ton of feedback so you don't know how you hit the ball. Last year's Tech did a really good job of doing that with sound and with feel. Uh, this year's had just a little bit of a different sound to it, but there was really not a ton of feedback at all. It does feature an alloy handle, and like most Demarini alloy handles, it was pretty rigid and maintain a consistent feedback as far as not giving any whip or anything like that. Let's jump over to the lab real quick, check a few things out. I'm just going to be yeah, kind of quick and to the point with the lab right stuff. The Trying to make editing as minimal as I can, and then back to the action. Okay. Scale weight here, nothing to get excited about. And compression testing brand new in the wrapper and here we are with it about the 100 to 125 swing mark with nothing but 52s it does look as if it'll take a few swings just based on how little the needle moved from the 100 and 125 swings i'd put on it so if you're wanting to get out and do some bp with this thing with the boys definitely seems like a bat that could take a little bit of abuse and just a close-up zoom in here because i know you guys kind of like these there's no webbing there's no paint chips there's no nothing on this bat this is another one where I could have taken a magic eraser to it, got the ball marks off of it, and you'd have thought that I'd just taken the wrapper off of it. Quick trip to the labs out of the way, back to the field. So this one kind of perplexed me a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not that I didn't like it, but it just kind of let me down compared to last year's Nihilist. And I will say that you for sure are going to have to put some work into this thing to get it going. I've been pretty lucky so far. Uh, this last couple of years, really, with shooting a lot of bats just uh, right out of the wrapper because everything is basically gamer status within 50 swings. But this is one that's going to need some work. I can tell you that for sure. I wouldn't hesitate to put 200, maybe even 300 swings on this with some 52 300s just to get it good and loosened up. Because at the very beginning, I kind of hit this bat and thought, I'll be honest with you. Eh, you know, I don't know what the deal is with this thing just because it felt different from last year's Nihilist. And I didn't know if it was something that was going to open up and get better or if it was just going to maintain this. Uh, same feel like the performance was lacking from when it was new to when it was now it seems to be breaking in and performance is getting progressively better as it goes it's not that it performed bad because i still got into a few balls pretty well here you just got to get that in a little round on it but i will say that it just didn't blow me away and i'm not going to give it a stamp know, of approval don't. but this is one that i will say that i will suggest to you especially for you short barrel inload load guys i fought with myself uh sitting here doing this voiceover I'm trying to figure out if I did want to give it a stamp of approval. That's how far it came down to. Most of the time I can walk off the field knowing uh, whether I want to give a bad a stamp of approval or not. That I'm not going to approve it, but I do suggest trying it and just seeing what you think. Big thanks for stopping in and checking it out, guys. Getting settled in for the move here. Going to get the content flowing again. But until then, be sure and hit that subscribe button. I'll catch up with you guys in the next video. Swing hard in case you hit it. I'm out of here.